Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna do some hiking and exploring at the Seven Tubs Recreation Area. This is part of the Pinchot State Forest, and it's located in what is considered Plains Township right outside of Bear Creek. And it's easy to get to right off of Route 115. And the highlight of this place is the tubs, and what they are are natural formations of pools of water that were formed from glacier runoff thousands of years ago. And there's a lot of hiking trails here, some beautiful falls, and it's just a great area to check out. So we're gonna show some of the highlights of the area, show some of the falls, maybe some people swimming, and uh, we'll go from there and see what we find. So they do have a little section here you can come and get some information about Seven Tubs, as well as a map of the area, and the rules and regulations. So once you come from the main parking lot, there is a short walk to the bridge that goes over the tubs. And you also encounter your first trail that goes up the mountain where you can access the additional tubs. there I'll zoom in but that's one of the tubs right there it's like a little pool of the water you can swim in side it comes down to another pool of water and down there it's pretty neat because there's actually a little rock wall that you can slide down I've seen people sit on that and slide down into the lower creek it's almost like a natural water slide it's a pretty cool looking spot so we're gonna make our way up the first trail here that goes up the side of the mountain and gives you access to the additional tubs it's not a very difficult terrain but you do want to have proper footwear and just be careful in wet conditions because it can be slippery and just off to the side is the cliff for the tubs. Okay, so the water flowing down the mountainside here is called Wheelbarrow Run. This is the area of the tubs and it meets up down bottom with Laurel Run. So when you come here, there's essentially two streams of water that you're able to hike around and check out. Directly across from us is another cliff side here, and there's a trail that goes up along that side as well. So you have two different options as far as how you want to get up to the top. And you can see someone kind of made a little trail to come down. Now, from my understanding, these tubs are actually pretty deep, just from the constant flow of water. I believe they're 10 to 15 feet deep, if not deeper. We're making our way higher up the mountain now, and still following along Wheelbarrow Run, and we came to a little pool of water here where some people are swimming. Popular area in the summertime. And you can see some people hiking over there as well. Not every day you get to come to a natural swimming hole. But I imagine that water is pretty cold. So I actually have a set of steps put in here. It's pretty neat. Now here is the beginning part of it. And you can see it's much more calmer and less of a tub area. So right down there is where it starts forming the tubs in. And on a good day, if the water level's right, you can actually slide down those little crevices in between the rocks. And almost like natural water slides. 
All right, so we're gonna continue a little farther forward and see if there's anything else up here worth checking out. If not, we're gonna turn around and check out some of the other trails. I know there's a trail that goes up Boro Run, as well as um, across from the upper parking lot, there's also supposedly some type of hidden waterfall. Let's see if we can find that as well, and maybe get some footage of some people having some fun here. It rained a lot last night, so the water levels are a little higher, and I imagine the water is pretty cold. But still a great day to come on and explore. Something pretty cool I just discovered is just upstream of this bridge is remnants of an old tunnel. That looks pretty awesome. Definitely have to get closer to that and check it out. Right down there's the tunnel. We'll get a better look at that in a moment, but just above it, there is a walking trail that leads up to the top, so I guess we'll head on that part next. Just look at it. It's pretty cool because you can almost see a mist in the air. Right there. And there's lots of cold air coming from inside there. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's gravity fed. It's almost like an inclined slope. standing in a precarious position here just to get this shot. I almost slipped and fell into the water once already. Very cool spot though. We're gonna continue on that trail up there and I think it'll look over to the other. So now we're on the trail going above the tunnel and this one's a fairly steep incline. A lot of roots as well so proper footing is a little tricky. Right down there below us is the tunnel. Okay, so we just climbed that path where that trail going above the tunnel, which led us to some train tracks here. And on the way up, we saw some railroad ties. I was wondering why, but now it makes sense. And on the other side, hopefully the trail continues, and we may be able to see the other side of that tunnel. So. I'm going to try and make my way down here without getting hurt and give you a reverse look at that tunnel. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me, but I traversed down that little trail on the other side of the tracks and met back up with the stream. And here's the back side of that tunnel. And you can actually see some people in there too. I have to say, I wasn't planning on coming across something like this today, but it's freaking amazing. Just the, the natural flow of the water, the sound, the ambience, and the tunnel. So far, this place is awesome. I can't wait to see what else we can find. I do plan on coming back here and getting some water shoes or something and doing what they're doing. Walk through it and give you guys an inside look at that. So that may be a shorter, separate video in the near future. I'm pretty crowded in there right now. through it he said that it's very slippery so if you don't have proper footwear you can easily slip and get hurt. 
Okay, we're currently right back where we started. We initially took that trail up there on the left. We went up, saw the bridge and a tunnel and the backside of the tunnel, which was well worth it in my book just to come and see that. I love finding stuff like that. Once up top, we found another trail on the way down that looped us back around and came out closer towards the parking lot. So we're gonna cross the bridge again. And now we're gonna go right down towards the bottom of Wheelbarrow Run. This right here is one of the more popular swimming areas simply because it's really close to the parking lot. It's less than a five minute walk and there's a natural pool of water here. It's maybe about four feet deep. And right over here, what looks to be a little waterfall is actually a, a natural water slide. So I'll give you guys a look at that. All right, so I was standing just over there and you got these little tiny pools of water. And then you have this pretty awesome looking water slide. I'm not sure how smooth and bumpy it'll be, but I have seen people slide down it before when I was here. And they pick up quite a bit of speed. You definitely want to wear shoes because you're going to land pretty fast and hard into the bottom of that little tiny fall there. But this is extremely slippery. It's covered in moss and constantly flowing water. I wish there was people here today so I could show it to you, but unfortunately there's not. But farther down there, it looks like there is another bridge or tunnel. So I may have to venture down there and check that out as well. So right here, this is Laurel Run. This is the other stream that flows through Seven Tubs area. And this joins up right here with Wheelbarrow Run. So they both merge and continue on downstream. All right, this section of the video is gonna be for Cliff, the Wandering Woodsman. If you happen to know what this is, let me know. I don't know if it's a bee or a type of moth, but I found it sitting here on the rock. And uh, he's still alive, but he's not moving. All right, so now we're gonna take the trail that goes alongside Lower Run and uh, see if there's anything interesting up here. If not, we're gonna turn around and try to find a way to that other tunnel that I showed you guys. Just a short distance up the trail, we came to a beautiful pool of water here. It's almost like a natural lagoon. And I'd imagine this would be a great fishing, uh, not fishing, swimming spot. But when I return, I'm bringing my water shoes and definitely going for a swim and walking through that tunnel. Like somebody was stacking some rocks. I don't know what the purpose of that is, if it's just for your own amusement or if there's a specific reason, but I see them from time to time. Yeah, there's actually another one right there. All right, so we're gonna continue forward and see what else we find. really nice spot because you come to these little pool areas and calm areas every so often so you can walk around in them, you could go on to lay down and cool off, but very nice here. Alright, so the trail does continue farther upstream, but it is very rocky and slippery due to all the rain last night. And as far as I know, there's not really anything up there except just, you know, another area to hike. So we're going to turn around and go back downstream and try and find that other tunnel that I saw near the water slide. So we'll pick up the, let me get over there. 
Okay, so it's been a little tricky so far trying to get to that other tunnel that I showed, but came up back near the main road near the entrance and found this path going down, which is a nice little stairway that they created. And it should bring us to the proper side of the stream and closer to the tunnel. Just upstream there, that's where that little water slide is. And I took that trail down the steps, came along the stream and found what I was looking for. This is pretty cool. It's not a normal bridge or tunnel that we saw earlier. This is specifically made just for water. And I can feel a lot of cool air here and some, you can see some mist in the air. But this goes directly under that roadway where that gate crosses and comes out on the other side. So I'm thinking this is pretty long. I'm going to try and get a shot inside of it. And you can see I'm kind of standing. But this goes a long ways. Now is it long, but it curves. You can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. No pun intended. You can also see some uh, icicles hanging. There's a lot of cool air and moisture down here. This is definitely something I want to walk through when I come back with my water shoes. And I'll film a video of that. I gotta say, it's probably one of my new favorite spots to come and uh, explore and hike, and even to swim in the near future. There is so much to see here. The trails are very easily accessible. Obviously, you know, when it rains, they're gonna be a little slippery like they are today, but all in all, I encourage anyone of all, any skill level to come out here. I forgot to mention too that some of the trails are marked with blazes. There is a yellow blaze trail, and uh, we're gonna do that one next. And I think there's also a red or a blue. So you can look for those to kind of get your orientation of where you're at. Some of them do loop around, some of them just go up and back down. But the tunnels, the bridges, the streams, the little pools of water, all in all, it just makes for a great place to come and spend a few hours and get some exercise, take some photos, and just have a good time. And just to give you a reference point while we're here, this is the wheelbarrow run meeting up with the roller run. And down there is that little water passage. So that's how you get to it if you're ever looking to come check it out. a beautiful spot right here, right above you is the bridge. There's a nice little falls here and a nice pool of water. I definitely come to this spot, it's nice and calm and deep.
Okay, so we're on a different trail now that we found going past the gate across the road and it led to a, a metal bridge and right be behind her next to it was a little path that you can see here. But walking up the path, came upon some older remains here. And uh, I don't know what it was for, but it's pretty neat though. This is what I saw and uh, caught my eye and kind of echoes in here. It's actually open underneath there. This was some type of structure. I don't know, maybe it was some type of furnace or uh, some kind of pump house maybe. There's some more foundations. So on the other side here we have some more concrete walls. But don't know what they're for. I wasn't anticipating finding something like that here, but this is a paved surface too. So it may have been a type of building or um, I don't think a home, but maybe a business or something. And this is like a type of parking lot. Okay, now we have the Yellow Blaze Trail. So we're going to take this up, which goes alongside the tubs that are known as Wheelbarrow Run. And maybe we'll get some uh, footage of people inside the tubs. All these tree roots here make for a uh, natural formation of steps, so it aids in your footing so you don't slip and fall. As mentioned earlier, some of these trails are marked. This one's clearly marked with a yellow blaze. Others are not, but can't really get lost. They all kind of bring you back to a centralized area and you just kind of follow your instincts. It's not too bad. Let's go! the same spot we saw earlier there was girls swimming here but this is a great view of it and it's like a little piece of heaven right here you got the waterfall the pool of water it's kind of secluded definitely looks like a nice spot to pull out Okay, so right behind me, there's one waterfall here and one up there. A lot of people don't know that these actually exist here in the Seven Tubs area. If you want to check them out, all you got to do is come up the road that you come into the entrance. There's a little small park on, on the left-hand side when you're coming down the hill. Across from that is a little open area where they have um, a porta potty there. Well, you walk behind that, there's a trail that comes down to the right and comes downhill. And you're on the trail for maybe uh, about seven minutes. But basically just keep your ears open. You'll hear the rushing water and you can find that. And the cool thing is up there on top, there's another tunnel that goes under something. So I found three tunnels, which is awesome in my book. And uh, when I return, I plan on going through all three of them just to see how they are on the inside and 
I think it'd just be a fun, uh, neat thing to do. And I'll be bringing my waterproof camera, so I'll be able to film all of it and won't have to worry about getting this camera wet or falling in. So, again, three tunnels, and these are not secret, but waterfalls that most people don't see when they're here. One other thing I'll do is I'll put up an aerial map showing the area of the seven tubs, and I'll circle where these waterfalls are located in reference to the parking lot, in case you want to check them out. All right, everyone, I'm going to wrap up the video here. It's probably already too long the way it is, but I wanted to give you guys a good look at Seven Tubs Recreational Area. A lot to see and do if you're interested in hiking, swimming, exploring, whatever you're into, whatever you're into, this place has it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I personally will be returning. Uh, I'm going to have some probably water shoes. I'm planning on going to some of those tubs and through the tunnel and a couple of other areas. So there will be a second video coming out in the near future. But in the meantime, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss any future uploads. And if you did enjoy this video, let me know by giving you a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.